Hello, welcome back to Rich Tech. Today we've got 60 watt MagSafe 1 charger. This is used for the 13 inch MacBook Pro, and it has uh, that defect right there. This cable frayed and it was hanging by one strand of the wire, and uh, that one just broke. Now, with my experience with these kinds of chargers, they basically work. This charge is still working, the cable is still working, the only problem is that most users can't repair this kind of damage so they opt to throw this charger away and uh, buy a new one and uh, this is where we come in we'll uh, repair this cable and this joint right here and the cable looks to be in fairly good shape, it can go for many more uh, years if you can say so the pins in the connector are good the body of the charger itself is uh, still good it's an original charger and uh, my hunch is that it's still working uh, the only thing we need to do is to join the charger to the cable and uh, to do that what we will need is fairly simple this, these are things you can have in your home you'll need a razor a super glue some insulating tape our soldering bit together with the soldering wire of course a pair of scissors some pliers those are very important a pair of pliers is used uh, to open the charger itself and uh, last but not least you'll need a drill so this drill will be important in uh, drilling through that the first thing we'll do is to open up this charger it's fairly easy place it uh, like that then with your pair of pliers uh, open it up this way so having struggled for some time I've managed to open this charger just like that Here is the inside of our charger, what we will do first of all is to cut off this Now this junction is one, you can see from the ends here Right there, it's been uh, destroyed So we won't be using this Definitely we have a few more we've collected over some time Here's where your pair of pliers comes, becomes important. Use it to hold this junction just like that. Then uh, we drill right through there. Uh, trim off this with uh, your razor. Have a nice neat hole. Can see that so we'll put a wire through there it'll come to that side next we have this other end of the cable we hope this cable is okay mostly when you have such a damage I usually don't even test the charger but uh, I'll test it after repairing this junction so I cut off this spoiled end but in the course of looking at that can also look at the other this end of the wire and see if there's any damage this is the time to spot it because once you repair this cable that's it so it seems to be in good state if there was a damage say here we would cut it some distance if there was a damage somewhere right there we would cut it here and it also depends with the amount of hour which will remain so this one seems to be okay let me cut it near the end here just like that and now, now we want to push this through that just like that before we expose the wires the wire and your junction uh, just uh, push this wire inside the junction cable pull right through the junction now we can go ahead and prepare that make sure these uh, wires are the same length Pose this other one too. That's neat.
expose these wires to cut one millimeter of the ends. Both of them. Before you move any further in this repair process, let's test if this charger is working. Hear that? That tells us the input is okay. Now we want to check the output. And for this, we are going to use at uh, MagSafe 1 to MagSafe 2 connector. Connect that to our MacBook Air. Then the other end of the cable, the L-shape connector, place it right there. Then using our two exposed wires, we check for the working of this charger. All you have to do is to connect this white to white, bare to black. And this is working, if you can observe right here. All we need to do is to solder those two together, just like that. Before you solder, use some heat film tubing to insulate this bare wire. Just like that. Apply one solder. Solder the wire to the charger. Of course, identify the white. White goes with white. This other one, the bare one, the one you just insulated will go with the black one. That's how you match them. Make sure your joint is uh, soldered all the way around. Insulate the joint using insulating tape. Next, solder the other joint. Insulate the joint. Put some super glue all around the cable. Pull this junction over the super glue. Rotate this wire around like this so that the wires settle nicely in the charger. Then place them inside like that. Next we'll place the upper casing on top of the charger. Apply glue to the inner parts of this charger. The inner edge is a portion where the glue fits in perfectly all around. At this edge put it on top. Then right here, there's no need of applying glue right there. Go ahead and apply to this side. This is the end which will stick to the uh, top cover. Once this glue is applied, then it's a race again this time. Because you want the glue to set with our parts already join together now that's it now quickly uh, place the top cover on the charger make sure it is going to fit nicely then uh, set the clips the in and the outer clips and 
it's a way to gain his time. Right? Mm -hmm. Just like that. The auto clips. Auto clips. Should have all this ready, then squeeze them closed. Just like that. Perfect joint. And uh, that's how you repair your MagSafe charger. Here's our complete charger, cleaned, looking brand new. Connected to a power cable, and we'll see if it's working. See that. Perfect.